It is said that we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. It is your mind that will make you rich or poor depending on the uses you put to it. How many times have you seen people around you going through mental anguish or emotional turmoil? Someone is not getting a job or someone just lost a loved one. Someone is going through a heartbreak or someone is going through depression or anxiety attacks. Someone is having existential crisis and the list goes on. According to a research study, the rate of depression is highest among students, especially the medical students and medical professionals in general, as we are the ones who are exposed to the sorrows and illnesses of the ones around us. With the advent of technology and awareness, the masses are starting to realize the importance of sound mental health, the work-life balance, and the conscious efforts towards solving modern problems with modern solutions. So how to keep your mind healthy among all of this chaos out there by understanding the fundamental principles of a healthy mind and approaching the solution through our design thinking framework. We will explore all of this in this video because a wandering mind is an unhealthy mind. Let's get started. Hey welcome back to the channel, if you are new here my name is Zirak and I am a final year MBBS student from Lahore, Pakistan. So the first principle of a healthy mind is the insight we have about ourselves, who we are, the narrative we have about ourselves. It's kind of tricky but I got you. Let's do this exercise of design thinking with me, it's called connecting the dots. Write on a paper who you are. You may be a 15 year old or a 24 year old, a boy or a girl, your name may be Ahmed or Ali or whatever. You may live in Pakistan, India or whatever part of the world. Just write on a paper who you are. Then next to it, write what you believe. And it means your life view. What is life to you? What do you mean by it? Do you find its answer in the religion or you find it, it is come as a result of evolution? Whatever you have view about it, just write on a paper what you believe, your life view. Then next to it, write what you do. And it is your work view, the profession you choose or anything you want to do the rest of your life what you contribute to the world, what you do. So when you start connecting the dots between these three things, who you are, what you believe and what you do, you start to feel your life become meaningful. And we all want our life to be meaningful. It is one of the basic principles to have a healthy mind that you have an insight about yourself. The second principle is the awareness we have about ourselves at a particular moment. Our ability to focus our attention. How many times has it happened to you that you are reading a book, after reading 2-3-4 lines, you just got lost and you start reading again? Have you ever observed your thoughts, your feelings or have you ever conversation with yourself that what is going on with me, what thoughts I am having at a particular moment, are they positive or negative? There is a term called meta-awareness which is coined for it. No one can tell you exactly what you should do or what tonic you should take to be more aware at a particular moment. But there are surely certain things which you should not do to be in a better state of awareness. And that is stay away from gravity problems. You have got a problem in your life, it is called gravity. Whatever it is or what sort of intensity it is, it is not relevant. If it is actionable then bingo, work on it, solve it and you are good to go. But if it is not actionable then it's not a problem in your life, it's a circumstance. It is called a gravity problem. And what you can do about a gravity problem, a circumstance in your life? Just accept it. Empathize with yourself. Define how can you live with it. Ideate possible strategies of moving forward with it. Prototype your ideas and strategies. Then test and apply in your life. So simple steps. First, accept it. Then empathize with yourself. Then ideate possible strategies of moving forward with it. Then prototype your ideas then test and apply in your life. Doing all of this exercise will keep you away and less focused towards your gravity problem and boost your present state of awareness and attention. The third principle is how you connect with others, your interpersonal relationships. If I talk about being in medical profession, the art of finding your people, the people you resonate the most with. Human being a social animal is good and affectionate towards family and relatives by instincts. But the way you interact with your colleague, your friends, the kindness you show to a stranger and the unconditional love you get in return. These are the things that really add value to your state of mind and awareness. Have you ever observed that when you are having a rough day and your friend just have a check on you by 2-3 to three minute pleasant conversation and that really changes your mood? Do you have friends who celebrate your birthday and hang out with you? When you celebrate Eid with all of your relatives, a sense you have that you have a social life 
a people around you that really cares for you these little things really pile up in the long run and adds to your sound state of mental health the fourth principle of a healthy mind is the concept of purpose we have in our life a sense that our life is heading to a particular direction everyone have their own definition of purpose and consequently the purpose itself some people take it really long to find out their purpose or some people just find this topic very hard some people just can't decide the path they took to fulfill their purpose in the long run so you got it it's kind of complicated but for the sake of this video we will approach this with our design thinking framework having a purpose without a plan is just the dream of a lunatic so ask yourself how many lives can you live obviously one but for the sake of this video and study we will assume that there are three great versions of you and design your life with each version of you differently make three five year odyssey plans with each version of you then ideate alternate futures in each version of you then prototype your ideas that same framework we mentioned previously that ideate then prototype then prototype your ideas then test and apply in your life i'll give you two examples to understand this concept very well first take the example of a 18 year old boy or a girl who is finding his or her purpose in life the career they want to choose or the path they want to take to reach that purpose or fulfill that purpose so these are the areas we naturally start to explore in our late adolescence or early adulthood so they start to ideate in ideas they have let's suppose three paths the first one is medicine second one in engineering and third one is business so they ideate these three paths then it's time to prototype that same framework they prototype their life in these three specific fields or these paths they start to ideate they started asking interesting questions that how their life will be like in medicine or how their life will be like in engineering or how their life will be like in business let's suppose so when these ask interesting questions they start to sneak peek into the future then they involve others with their ideas and they have conversations with them all of this process includes in this prototyping thing then after prototyping you start to design your life according to those prototypes and get experience on it you find people who are already on those paths and have conversations with them and surprisingly you figure out that those people have gone through this phase as well so when you have a sneak peek into your future it really helps you to decide which path you want to choose and which path really fulfill your purpose now let's take an another example i am at a point in my life that i'm going to choose a medical specialty very soon to excel in my medical career and to be a good doctor in general so apply that framework again in choosing a medical specialty the first step is ideating when i have ideas about a speciality i have three ideas about three specialities in general the first one is internal medicine second one is emergency medicine and third one is dermatology so after ideating i shortlist these three workable specialities it's time to prototype and in prototyping i have conversations with the people who are already on those specialities i ask interesting questions i ask them how it feels like to be in a particular specialty how your life will be like in that particular speciality in this way you sneak up into your future remember that someone else is living your future life today have conversations with them expose assumptions and you will find out that they have gone through the same process themselves a term called narrative resonance and that thing really helps you to decide what you should do or what path you take at a particular moment it's really a good strategy to apply and a potential way of moving forward through prototyping experiences it really adds value to your state of mind a sense of accomplishment that things are kind of in your control i literally see a lot of people even medical students too who just don't know how to potentially move forward in life they just follow the principle that go with the flow and everything happens for the greater good that is acceptable too but only if you have everything sorted out yourself and you are a pretty acceptable position but most of us have nothing sorted out and if you want to change that you have to put an active effort to change your where abouts and i think this is a good strategy to get started and the fifth and final principle of a healthy mind is the concept of choosing well the choice you have in your life over everything if you look at it from the philosophical point of view a man does not come in this world with his choice neither he can leave this world with his choice but he has choice over everything in between and whatever we choose we have to accept the circumstances that come with the choice and that old age question when do you know how you know you know so in our design thinking framework we have gathered and created options in ideating point after ideating it's time to prototype after prototyping it's time to choose well and choosing well is tricky you won't decide how you feel about a decision until the decision is being made 
so before choosing medicine engineering or business you won't decide how you feel in medicine or engineering or business you will feel only after getting into medicine or engineering or business whatever same way the wisdom of emotion is a real thing you cannot choose well if you choose only from your rational mind the emotional intelligence so what to choose what field to take or what specialty to get in is it right for you or wrong for you it all came up to one basic principle that wanting what you get not getting what you want is the real thing that synthesizes happiness so whatever you choose just make the decision irreversible and after some time you agonize that you made the wrong decision then what accept that move on try new stuff simple so next time if you find someone who is lost or depressed or if they don't know what the hell is going on in their life they don't have a direction a purpose a particular plan a strategy to move forward instead of telling them your own problems and saying that life is a suffering ask them interesting questions what matters the most to you in this situation how can we overcome this situation discuss ideas apply this framework this strategy in this situation and hope so they will find a good fortune and good at being lucky this was a different kind of video as i'm digging more and more into the working of the most complex system of the human body the working of human brain the concept of neuroplasticity and all of that stuff i hope to make more videos in this series in the future hopefully hope you get something out of it and learn something new if you are watching it on youtube a sub would be amazing if you are watching it on facebook do check out my other videos on my youtube channel subscribe to the channel to support my content Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.